I think raw, it might sound cliche, is my safe place. He's my home. He's someone I run to when I'm having the best day, the worst day, or the most average day. And to me, that's how you know you found your person. So I'm just really excited to marry him today. Things that make her so special to me are the everyday small moments. Her coming home every day from work, I work from home. So her coming through the door is the best part of my day. Her kissing me goodbye as she goes to work is a fantastic part of my day. And building a life we have together, I feel like I won the lottery in terms of partners. I guess how we first got in contact was um, I was visiting my college roommate and his wife in Newport News, Virginia. And I was on my phone uh, on the Tinder app doing what I call vanity swiping where I'm just hitting that button and making sure, seeing like, ooh, who thinks I'm pretty? And uh, going through it and I connect with Morgan Lee. And pretty much instantly she sent me a message I remember he had a trade show for work and he was going to be out of town for the next few days and I was really enjoying talking to him and I was like, well, what if we meet up tomorrow? So that Monday we have our first date and I see Morgan Lee walking by and what I call like her power walk. And she walks in the door with such purpose and confidence. And I was like, well, that is her. Hey. You look so wonderful. Good. You look so You look good. wonderful. I love this flower on you. Oh, this suit looks so everything good. about this on you. I love it. You know, I go in for a handshake, she gives me a hug, and you know, my uh, attraction starts off pretty much immediately. I really, it was around St. Patrick's Day weekend. I remember telling him we've been dating for two months. I love spending my time with you, but I need to set these boundaries. I have to study this weekend. I can't hang out with you. And he understood. And then a few hours later, uh, kind of inebriated, celebrating St. Patrick's Day with his friends, showed up at my door. So I initially was like, I guess this guy doesn't get it. We're going to have to work on the boundaries thing. But. When he came in, that was the day that he told me that he loved me. It was really scary. I had been in love before and had my heart broken several times before. And I was always the one to say it first. Uh, Morgan Lee and I had made like plans to do a day trip to Natural Bridge, Virginia, a gorgeous area. You know, he was kind of like, I'm thinking maybe we could go see Natural Bridge, a place I've always wanted to take you. And I was like, is this the proposal? Tell me now, I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know what I'm wearing. So as the day went on, I got a little, little more nervous. I was just like, oh man, I know she's gonna say yes, but I don't wanna disappoint her in asking. And I took her to the side off there where we're probably not supposed to walk. There was like a nice peaceful meadow creek area it's so secluded and I asked her to marry me right there and well she said yes and uh the rest of the day was fantastic i like about that is ross got to have his kind of traditional special moment of proposing to me but the decision to commit to each other and get engaged was fully mutual and joint Dear family, friends, what an honor it is to be here with you this evening as we celebrate and bear witness to the marriage of Morgan Lee Furman and Ross McClintock. Take me to a place that no Morgan Lee, it is nearly impossible for me to articulate the depth of love I have for you. I promise to strive to always make you laugh and smile while always taking you seriously. I promise to be patient, kind, and understanding to you. I also promise to be open with you and allow myself to lean on you when I need support. Ross, as I reflect on the years we have spent together, I can absolutely say without hesitation that I have never been happier than when I am with you. 
I promise to build with you a home founded on respect and appreciation and to always make our family's love and happiness my first priority. Above all, I promise to love you and only you and to devote my life to building ours together. So today, your friends and family surround you as you begin something new and marvelous. Remember your promises, keep them with all your heart. A toast to the newlyweds, Morgan Lee and Ross. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vows. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor and choose you. Ross, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vows. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor and choose you. And now by the power vested in me, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife and to present for the first time as a married couple, Morgan Lee Furman and Ross McClintock, I invite you to seal this marriage with a kiss. Weddings give us a wonderful opportunity to come together and celebrate and to continue traditions from chocolate to cookies <laughs> to the father-daughter song today that Stan shared with his own mom at our wedding 38 years ago. Morgan Lane Ross, we hope you both continue many traditions in your life and value the importance of family above all else. Welcome to our family, Ross. Be kind to one another. Don't say anything that you really don't mean in the given moment. Make time for each other. Life goes quick and it only gets quicker. And with that said, can we all raise a glass, please, to Morgan Lee and Ross, the one who didn't get away? <laughs> With you, with you, to run away with you, with you, with you, to run away with you.